<laughs> Welcome back, guys, to Imagine Blue. It's just me, Crystal, and OC today. What's up? And uh, we're going to talk about uh, a film that's been on our brains um, since it released recently. I think we watched it maybe like the first or second weekend it came out, right? We were pretty quick about it. Yeah. Um, yeah but the film. Pretty, pretty quickly. Yes, it's it's A twenty four's Civil War. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, I think I can say for the both of us that we both enjoyed it. We both thought it was entertaining, but uh, let's unpack that. Yeah, let's unpack it. Um, this is director Alex Garland's most recent work, and I'm not gonna lie. Me walking into it, I've had some like, I'm I've had some mixed feelings about uh, Alex Garland and and his work. Uh, that I've seen over the years. Um, All of it? To, to an extent, to an extent. Like, um, Ex Machina was my favorite film the year that it came out. But I will admit, like, I've seen it a couple times since. I feel like the novelty of that film wears off every time I see it. Like, the, I, I don't feel like the same emotional impact or whatever like whatever i was feeling when i was like oh my god like the first time it's I not saw it, i'm like timeless is... yeah like the, what, whatever it was timely was feeling... it was timely for sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right but the closer we get to like ai advancing i feel like uh, the less like <laughs> it's like this is just real life like we've seen you know i we've seen right. black mirror so I, I get just, what you're saying maybe it's that um, it's just like less impactful but the, when it came out that was my favorite film that year, like bar none. Um, and then it took me a while to, but I eventually saw Annihilation. Ah, I thought it was cool. Like I didn't, I didn't like it as much as people love that movie. I know people love Annihilation. Uh, and I like, so, I like Annihilation a lot. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, we we talked about men on this channel. I, I didn't like men. Uh, but we don't have to belabor that point. <laughs> um, and then now we have Civil War. Uh, yeah, I really liked Civil War. I thought that this was um, really good. Again, walking into the movie because of like the ups and downs of like his previous catalog, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I'm not gonna like I wasn't gung ho to see this movie immediately, but like hearing from you and like other people about how. Uh, it was worth. It was a movie worth seeing. I was like, okay, might as well, um, might as well go and watch it. And I'm happy I did because it was it it was definitely uh, something that I'm happy that I I went to see. Yeah. No, I'm glad to hear because um, I mean, yeah, when I saw it, I was definitely like, okay, yeah, like this is something special. I do I do think Alex Garland is is a good filmmaker right there was like a lot to love about civil war this time around like the sound design i feel like that's something that alex garland always does really well mm -hmm. there was some incredible cinematography some really cool looking shots where i'm like oh my god i can't believe yeah. like he caught that like yeah. this looks awesome um and yeah i mean just the way things were set up the atmosphere the tone um how it felt it was like stylized where it was just just adjacent to real life like this could be you know in the very near barely distant future you know who mm. knows um mm. just you know with how divisive things are nowadays um but yeah right. i mean i've seen pretty much the majority of things i've been seeing about the film are like positive there are some things that i'm seeing that are negative and they really only have to do with like the story um nothing about the actual filmmaking like i said it's like expertly crafted um but i think there are people that um kind of have been saying like there's some story beats that don't add up or like are kind of unbelievable and it's like one thing i've heard is like they're saying everyone who's not a journalist in the film kind of looks like really really dumb um i don't I mean, maybe. I kind of agree, but it's, like, not, like, so unrealistic. Like, I mean, there are people, like, even now, in the past, in the future, I'm sure, that are, like, willfully ignorant about things because, you know, mm -hmm. that's their choice. Mm -hmm. um, and I think maybe people who are, like, turned off by that, I don't know, like, where where have you been, you know? <laughs> yeah, I I definitely was seeing a lot of mixed 
reactions to this film, um, both before and after I watched it for myself. Um, based on my what I can tell, a lot of the negative reactions that I saw were can be boiled down to an unwillingness on the part of the film to make any strong stance about like what the what this civil war is about uh and so because alex garland was like intentionally um vague vague with with like uh what is this war over what are like the the political aspects that led to the civil war like because he was vague with it people kind of felt that um they were i i don't know i guess um they didn't go far enough um that in in the making of the film to uh to satisfy them i suppose but me seeing this film i didn't necessarily view that as a problem i didn't see i don't i didn't think that that was an issue because i don't think that was the focus of the film I think the focus of the film was um, specifically on the tragedy of warfare, how that mm -hmm. changes uh, people, and how that can be like oh, that, how that can be a lot closer than you know we in this you know living in twenty twenty four comfortable America can sometimes feel mm -hmm. uh, when you hear news about war going on all over the world in different places that seem so far so far removed. Um, but, you know, yes. in the blink of an eye, it can be at your doorstep. Um, and yeah. that juxtaposition of you have this, like, familiar looking um, buildings and, like, landscapes and all that stuff with, like, quaint little towns. But then, you know, bloody violence in the next scene. And uh, having these two things together and seeing it through the eyes of journalists... Uh, people who are recording this for uh, the future to be able to uh, learn from and gain some sort of understanding. I think it was really um, impressive and, and well done. And I, I appreciated it for, for what it yeah. was. It's, it's a lot to take in. I think it, it is very open-ended and up to our interpretation. So mm. I, I, I agree with everything you're saying. I think the, the film is... Um, kind of a great way to highlight the cyclical nature of war also, right? To show like Chris and Dunn's character kind of like raising up this new journalist to like, you know, step into her shoes. Um, and then kind of like, you know, you see like their journey um, of basically kind of becoming like very removed from what they're seeing. Right. Right. Um, even though they're so close to it. Um, and like you said, like physically, there'll be some place where everything is peaceful. And then in the next scene, like incredible violence. Right. And that, I mean, we can see parallels even like presently, right. On social media, you know, it's really easy to doom scroll or like, you know, on the other side, like see things, but like not really clock it, not really absorb it. Right. And that's like a choice that we're making every day when we are like scrolling, scrolling through our socials and, and, you know, kind of picking and choosing like what to care about. Um, and you saying like, oh, you know, having it be through the lens of the journalist, too, is, is really clever. Um, and it also kind of for a second gives me like it kind of reminds me of like nope about like, you know, like the dangers of spectacle right like yes we're seeing all these images we're yeah. seeing like you know incomprehensible violence um and but you know what are the repercussions like to what end you know are we going to keep seeing these things and keep having these wars and just <laughs> keep mm -hmm. the military industrial complex going mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and there's no answer to these things and like i feel like it was very intentional for alex garland to like you know kind of have the film be the way that it was like you said it being like more vague more open-ended it's not like a lesson on morality like at all it's just um a showing of the way things are and that's that right right yeah no absolutely absolutely um so moving on i suppose do you how do you feel about um the performances in the film uh, we have a, really a couple of like, yeah, we have a couple of like notable actors and actresses. Kristen Dunst, yeah. I haven't seen in a while. 
Uh, so it was interesting to see her here. She is so solid. I want to say, like, for her too, like, that casting is so perfect mm. because, you know, she's like a child actress, right? She's yeah. a veteran in her own craft as right. an actress. To make her a veteran journalist is, I think, really great intentional casting, right? Like, she even, I mean, look, she played like, Mary Jane and the Spider-Man movies and you know we have this new generation of like oh there's a new Mary Jane it's like the same thing is happening in this film like she's this like incredible photojournalist and mm -hmm. there's this other really talented photojournalist that is like you know trying to emulate her and like step into her shoes so I, I just think that that is 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 kind of funny and, and kind of really cool casting for them um, to have Kirsten Dunst do that and and she she killed it like she i don't know i don't think i've ever seen kirsten dunce um like this before um yeah. she was definitely she pulled off like the jaded act like really perfectly um and she was like really well supported by the rest of the cast um the newcomer i don't know her name she was really great um I know she was one that was like another complaint. She was like kind of a character that was a little difficult to like, but Haley I think Spain. that was <laughs> Haley Spaney. Yeah, Kaylee Spaney. Kaylee Spaney. Kaylee Spaney. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she was regardless. She was great. Um, I love Wagner Mora. I think he was really awesome. Like he was kind of like playing like a loose cannon type photojournalist character. Yeah, he was interesting. I feel like. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like he's low key the guy who fights with Pedro Pascal on like all of his roles. <laughs> like it's between him and. Would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Just because like low key, really. it was, he reminded me of Pedro Pascal so much. But um, but yeah, no. Um, Wagner Mora. I I I guess I know him from having seen Narcos. Um, Puss in Boots: The Last Witch. Wish. Is he? Is he put? He's he's dead. <laughs> oh, he's, dead. <laughs> he's the wolf. Okay, a I lobo. Didn't I didn't know that. Um, um, and then he was also which is in. Why I'm a fan. Okay, <laughs> he was also in an episode of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the one with Childish Gambino, uh, which mm. he did a good job there too. So I, I like I like Mike Nomura. He's great. I think he's he's pretty talented. Yeah. I don't think he's super similar to Pedro Pascal. He's got a cool accent. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could have said anybody. You could have said like Diego Luna. <laughs> like Is he like, like uh, I, like I he's don't not, know. Though. I don't know. I you think he's like, more like Pedro Pascal? That's who I was thinking of when I was watching the movie. Was like, huh, this guy reminds me a lot of Pedro Pascal. But hey, no, I yeah. He reminds me of The Last of Us. No. That's pet, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't, I don't see it. Great actor. Anyway, great actor. <laughs> There's this uh, meme that like, um, they're like, any film that has Jesse Plemons in it yeah. is gonna hit. <laughs> and I like wholeheartedly agree. I'm like a huge Jesse Plemons stan. He did, uh, and job. his part, um, it was a kind of a smaller one, but. Um, super important like it was probably one of the most tense the most tense moment no not the most there's a lot of action in it but it was one of the more tenser parts of the film Absolutely. um and it all comes down to jesse plemons's kind of understated threatening performance like he's he's a really amazing character actor in my opinion mm -hmm. there's not enough of them i feel like him people like him and like michael shannon like when they kind of have these like little roles is like when they really shine yeah. so yeah i really i loved him in his his little bit part absolutely absolutely um yeah so definitely a lot of great like chock full of a lot of great uh performances Stephen mckinley henderson also who played um the older journalist yeah. uh he did a great job i really appreciated uh, yeah. his performance I heard a the lot role, of yeah and his, everyone uh -huh. is praising his performance he's great uh-huh his death uh like hit really really hard i know um, when it happened. 
and is like especially after his warn like his repeated warnings <laughs> of like hey don't do this uh, you're all gonna die <laughs> don't do this and then he was like it's always yeah i don't even know what to call this trope but like a character who is like that then risks their own life and then saves everyone and then like dies as a result yeah. that is like a really heartbreaking trope so that really got me absolutely absolutely um, so yeah, his, his performance was was top notch for sure, for sure. Um, but yeah, any other aspects of the film that you want to touch on? I know Nick Offerman was in there for a hot minute. Um, he did a good yeah. job. It was a quick, you know, little hey die. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, he no, did a good it's job. yeah, it was the world building mm. that because like like I said like. It's very stylized because they he's like established that there is like this civil war going on and he does it like very quickly and I think him keeping it vague is a tool to kind of like drop us in there and not have to hold our hand and like and explicitly like give us like this exposition and blah 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 like I think the way he did it was solid um and I you know I respect the decisions that he made with the storytelling there. Yeah, yeah. Um Definitely, definitely agree with that. Um, awesome, awesome. So if any of you guys have seen Civil War by Alex Garland and you have your thoughts, your opinions, if you agree or disagree with anything we said, definitely let us know down in the comments and we will catch you guys later. All right, peace. Peace.